Hello boys, hello girls, hello babes. Welcome back to the Janae Talks Caps podcast. As always, thank you all so much for tuning in today during the dog days of summer. We really appreciate it. You taking a bit of time off from being outside in the sunshine, wakeboarding, water skiing, whatever it is that you like to do to enjoy the summer months. We really appreciate you taking a short break here from all of that in order to catch our episode. And it is not exactly a regular episode here today as we are obviously deep, deep into those dog days of summertime. Now, there's not a lot happening within the hockey world at the moment. Our Capitals got most of their off-season work done already. And we did already cover all of that very in-depth, if I do say so myself, on our previous couple of episodes. So you can catch those on Apple Podcasts or on Spotify, or wherever it is really that you like to get your podcasts from, our show is available across pretty much all major podcast platforms now, so you can find those episodes there in our show's feed where we are discussing the Capitals' bounty of off-season work. But for today's show, like I said, Dog Days of Summertime, we are going to be doing something a bit different here. We thought we would have a fun show here for you today, and so I am going to be joined today by Sunny, who is a fan of our Washington Capitals, and who, full disclosure, she did used to be a Boston Bruins fan until I converted her. So we'll call her a recovered Boston Bruins fan, if you will. She has seen the light now, thank goodness, and she is a big fan of our Washington Capitals now and has been since, I believe, around 2016, right? Mm -hmm. Um, So she is joining us here today for a fun little game that we are going to play for today's show. And folks, this is definitely what you would call unserious off-season content, okay? Because again, this is not what the show typically consists of, but we were racking our brains trying to come up with content for you guys to keep the show going during the summertime for those fans who really like their hockey content to be year round. And so this is what we came up with. All right. It's the best we can do. So I don't want to hear any complaining. Just kidding. Of course, as always, you were free to complain if you want to, but it is unserious off season content. All right. I cannot stress that enough. So don't take it too seriously. So first up, Sunny, how are you doing today? I am doing great. I just finished watching the Olympics, and I'm missing hockey already. Already, hey? Well, we've got <laughs> about, what is it now? I think it's about 60 more days to go. So that's a, long, that's a long period of time. Yes, we are not that close at all to the regular season getting underway, which is why we're doing kind of a silly episode today. Uh, all right, so the game uh, that I have got for us that we are going to play today, uh, it is somewhat of a version of the game Mary Fuck Kill which we have actually, yes, which we have actually played on this show before, you will all remember. Uh, we did an episode a long while back in our earliest days where the entire episode was basically just a game of Mary Fuck Kill. And that episode is in part what put us on the map for a lot of fans. Uh, we did get a lot of our earliest subscribers from that episode. So I think it's a bit of a fun, different thing to do every once in a while when you were just wanting to mix it up. You mix in something like this for an episode. And like I said, Dog Days of Summertime, Not a lot going on Uh, hockey-wise right now. We have quite literally got nothing better to do, so we might as well do this uh, and have some fun with it and have a few laughs as we are prone to do on this show. Uh, So for this version of this game, it's actually not going to be Mary Fuck Kill, uh, but rather it is going to be Party With, Study With, Play With. Oh, okay. that's a little bit different. It is a little bit different. So I'll explain how it works. Uh, so essentially, I am going to give you three NHL players, which could be from any NHL team. They don't all have to be from our Washington Capitals, although undoubtedly some of them will be. And then those three players whose names I give you, you are going to have to decide which of the three you would want to A, party with, obviously, Uh, B, study with if you had like an exam that you had to do well on in school uh, or something along those lines, and then C, play with as in play on a line with in hockey, like you get to be their line mate and they're setting you up for goals or you're setting them up for goals or whatever. Make sense? Oh, that's pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. Okay, you got it. Uh, So, uh, oh, and I should add as well that when we make our selections, we should also explain why we are choosing those as our selections, because that's probably probably the fun part uh, and probably the part that is going to most likely lead to a lot of arguing. (laughs) Okay, (laughs) Uh, so let us get started. Uh, First one. I wanted to start with an easy one. So this one is an easy one. The three players are Alex Ovechkin, Sidney Crosby, 
Connor McDavid. And remember, you have to pick one to party with, study with, and play on a line with. Wow. Am I going first or you're going first? You're going first. I'm oh. not telling you my answers. You're going first. Okay. So obviously we watched Ovechkin's video of after they won the cup. Yes. So I would definitely, that's a pretty straightforward answer. I don't that's why I, that's, that's why I said it's an easy one. Yes. <laughs> um, I think the next one, I would definitely want to play with Crosby because I, I wouldn't actually, no, actually, I don't know now. I would, I would play with Crosby. And I would and I would study with um, McDavid, only because I feel like I I just feel like McDavid is like like he's fast and everything, which is great and it's fun to play with that way. But I feel like at the end of the day, I want to win a cup, and I feel like we ain't gonna win no cup if I'm playing with him. So I'll stick pointless with in game six and game <laughs> seven. Yes, <laughs> so I think completely I'll stick, pointless. I think I'll stick with studying with McDavid and playing with Crosby for that. So those are my reasons. That's a valid reason. So he's fast, but not a winner is what you're saying for all of those Edmonton Oilers fans out there. Okay. (laughs) That's not controversial at all. Okay. Uh, My answer, well, I would party, obviously, with the great Alex Ovechkin. Let's start with that. That is probably the easiest answer that you will have all day, especially when the other two options for partying are Sidney Crosby and Connor McDavid. Two guys who have the combined personality of a wet napkin. Uh, so uh, definitely I would party with Alex Ovechkin. Like I said, that is a very, very, very easy answer. Uh, I would actually study with Sidney Crosby. I don't know why. He just seems like he was probably a good student, probably like a like a teacher's pet type, kissing the teacher's ass and all of that. He just he just seems like the, the kiss-ass type. <laughs> he seems like an ass kisser. Uh, and those are the kids that you always want to sit next to in class. So... Study with Sidney Crosby, and then I would play on a line with Connor McDavid. Sure, why not? Give me the back door, empty net tap-ins, and I will act as if I personally did something great when I put it into the most wide open <laughs> net on planet Earth. I'll be Leon Dreisaitl. I was just yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say cough cough Dreisaitl. Right, yeah, put it into the <laughs> wide open net and act like I'm fucking amazing. Uh, now give me fourteen million dollars, please. <laughs> okay, uh, number two. Let's see, who did I pick for number two? Okay, so three players are Nathan McKinnon, Nikita Kucherov, and let's go David Posternak. So you have to, again, party with, study with, and play on a line with. Okay, I would definitely play with McKinnon. Okay. Party with Pasternak, because he just seems like a funny man. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I would get along with him. Because, I agree, yes. Because <laughs> he's weird and I'm weird and that's all good. Um, and I would definitely study with Kucherov just because I feel like he's got a, he reminds me of like, he's not like to the level or I don't know if he's like to the level because I'm not a hockey expert, but um, definitely like, I feel like he's got a, like a smart brain, like IQ, high IQ. So I feel Kucherov like, we're talking about? Yeah, yes. Kucherov. So I feel like definitely have to study with him and then yes, play out of course with McKinnon. That's just, I want to fly by on the ice like him. So maybe I'll take a. So play with McKinnon, study with Kucherov, party with Pasternak. Okay. If he can teach me how to fly on the ice like that, I'd play with him any day. Skate like McKinnon? Yes. <laughs> um, let's see. What am I going to go with here? Well, I'll start with, I know I certainly would not want to be partying with Nathan McKinnon because he's just going to be stuffing kale smoothies down your throat the entire time. Do you know what I mean? Like, Nate, I just want to have one beer, man. I just want to have one beer. He's like, no, you will drink this kale and spinach smoothie and then you'll run 10 miles and you will like it, goddammit. So no, I would not want to party with Nathan McKinnon. Absolutely not. I think that sounds fucking awful. Um, I think that he would probably make a pretty great study partner though. So I think I'll choose that with Nathan McKinnon. And then Nikita Kucherov, same logic that I went with for playing on a line with Connor McDavid. Give me the backdoor empty net tap-ins and I will collect my huge paycheck as a result. Um, And then I would definitely, you know, same as you, I would definitely party with David Posternak. I just think he seems, uh, you said it, like I think he seems like a really cool guy to, a really cool guy to hang out with. Like he just seems like a chill dude. Um, And he's actually got a personality. Like he's one of those rare guys, like like an Alex Ovechkin, Mm -hmm. you know, in a league full of guys who it at times seems are trying to be the most boring versions of themselves. Pasternak, I feel, you know, just like Ovechkin, who we love so dearly, he's actually got a personality. And so that's someone who I would actually want to party with because I don't think it would be lame. So that's my answer for that one. Um, the next one is an interesting one. Okay, so... I feel like it's going to be hard. 
is going to be hard, yeah. a hard choice. Yes. Like, not, like, easy. Because mm. you wouldn't really know who to who, like, who to put where. Yeah, I don't know. I've gone back and forth on this one. So it is an interesting one. So our very own Tom Wilson. No, okay. 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 Matthew to Chuck. And Ryan Reeves, who, let's be honest, is really just thrown in here for the laughs. <laughs> a lot like his Toronto Maple Leafs in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs, just thrown in there for the laughs, okay? <laughs> um, so again, it's Tom Wilson, it's Matthew Tuchuk, and it's Ryan Reeves. Party with, study with, play with. Okay, so I would party with Tuchuk, just because he seems like a really fun guy to go clubbing with. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but... No, I agree. <laughs> Um, and I definitely want to play with Wilson because I just want to be on the ice when he slams somebody against the boards. That just... That leaves you <laughs> studying with Ryan Reeves, though. <laughs> Are you sure that's wise? I mean, I don't know. Maybe he'll... Is your GPA already <laughs> high enough that you don't need this class? <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but I think those are my final answers for sure. Okay. I probably... Yeah, definitely. Final answer. That's final answer. Okay. I, I don't know. I think I'm going to change my answer. Okay, so after giving it some thought here just now, briefly, as I'm sitting here listening to you and thinking about my own answer, um, I'm actually going to go in a different direction with this one than I originally thought. So my answer might surprise you a little bit. Um, so I would actually want to play on a line with Ryan Reeves. So you can beat the shit out of him? No, no. <laughs> So I can beat the shit out of him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, no. Uh, let me explain my reasoning why. I would want to play on a line with Ryan Reeves because then I would not be the worst hockey player on my line. <laughs> I think skating next to Ryan Reeves would make me look great comparatively. So sign me up for that. Um, and then with Tom Wilson, I've actually heard stories from people who are from Tom Wilson's hometown of Toronto, which... You were from Toronto as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, we've heard stories, as you know, from people who knew Tom Wilson in school, and they actually all say that he is actually a very smart dude. He was a very good student and that he was always very helpful whenever fellow students, classmates of his needed help with something. If they weren't understanding whatever it was that the teacher was trying to teach or whatever, that he was always there to kind of lend a helping hand to whoever needed it. So I am big time on the study with Tom Wilson train. I think that would be great. I think I would get an A. Um, and then that leaves me as well partying with Matthew to Chuck, which I think we can all agree would be legendary. Um, so we agree on that one there. And I want to do uh, the next one. I want to do a goalie one. Okay. Oh, that'd be interesting. Yeah, let's change it up. So a goaltending one. Okay, let's go reigning Stanley Cup winner, Sergei Bobrovsky. Reigning Vezina Trophy winner Connor Hellebuck, or just for shits and giggles, David Ayers, if you remember, the oh at the time 42 year old Zamboni driver slash emergency backup, the e bug who beat the Toronto Maple Leafs in an actual NHL game on February 22nd, 2020. So, Sergey Bobrovsky, Connor Hellebuck, David Ayers. Party with, study with, play with. I feel like. I feel like with the events that transpire with the Leafs, I feel he's got something to celebrate. So maybe I'll party with David Ayers. <laughs> <laughs> something to celebrate. He's <laughs> probably still partying for oh, that 100%, one. Oh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> um, study with, I think, um, Bobrovsky. I just feel like he looks like he's got a high IQ just with his looks. I just can't take Hellebuck seriously in terms of that way. I don't know. So maybe I'll just play with Are him. Are you calling Connor Hellebuck dumb? What no, do you mean? No, no, no. No, I just like, I don't know. Like, Bobrovsky just has more serious face. You know, like, Hellebuck like, just reminds me of like, you know, go with the flow. I don't fun. have a serious face and I'm pretty smart. No, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, I'm not saying a high cube wise. I'm just saying he looks like chill, you know. But Bobrovsky looks like, you know, um, Like he would take his studying seriously. Yes, yes, yes. Like, not just like, you know, I'm just going to look at a textbook and just hope that I can, you know fly by the exactly. seat of my pants yes okay so i don't think those are my final answers i mean let's see what you say well <laughs> this is an easy one for me i would party with sergey Bobrovsky because russians are fucking crazy <laughs> and vodka is my drink of choice anyway so that would be oh, lit oh i didn't think of that yes russians and vodka sign me up <laughs> uh and then i would study with connor hellebuck because 
I think he seems like a studious guy. I do not agree with Sonny calling him stupid just now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to Connor Hellebuck if you're listening for her behavior on, on this, my podcast. Um, no, I think he seems like a studious guy. I've seen him wearing glasses once or twice. That's always a good sign. <laughs> Um, and then I would play with David Ayers because that dude is a fucking legend, at least on the ice. I don't, I don't know about off the ice, but on the ice fucking legend. So that's simple for me. Easy decisions there. Um, all right, let's go. Whew. You're going to get into it on this one. I can feel it. Uh, oh God. so she's from Toronto. She fucking hates the Toronto Maple Leafs. Okay. Whoa. Hates them. So. Let's go Mitch Marner. <laughs> Heavy sound of disgust in her voice there. Mitch Marner, Brock Besser, and Uri Slavkovsky. So a trio of guys from the Canadian teams. Let's do that. So Mitch Marner, Brock Besser, Uri Slavkovsky. Party with, study with, play with. Um, that's a tough one. I feel like I'd study with Marner just because... He just seems like a little mute person that doesn't really talk. And he'd be a good person to study with because he's just focused in his studies. And I feel like he doesn't really have a personality. So I feel like he would be fun to party with. I could be wrong, but I feel like he just have his Game Boy and he's just, you know, playing in the corner. So I don't think that's fun. You don't think that's fun. We play no, Nintendo no, no, no. 64 all the time. No. <laughs> She's a like... fucking liar, people. <laughs> I just meant he doesn't look like a good time to party with is all I'm saying. I don't want to have my feelings come out when I'm trying to party. You know, I feel like we'll just... I like, also feel like I you just, say you say the wrong thing to him. Like, I just feel like we'll be in a circle and like talking about our feelings while we're trying to party. You know, like I don't want to... He's like that, that with the media. Yes, like you can't you can't say a wrong word to him or even look like, at him wrong. Or he's like, hey, off in the corner We're not going to drink, drink beer. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. You know, so I, I think I'll just study with the guy. I'm go with, with Martner. Yes, with Martner. Okay. <laughs> Buster, I think I would play with. Brock Buster? Yeah, 100%. Which just... leaves you partying with your ice left Yes. Yes. That is correct. Okay. <laughs> so, where do I want to go with this one? Okay, well, first of all, with Mitch Martner, are we playing on a line with him in the playoffs or just in the regular season? Okay, well, I mean... Because... Like, that's going to drastically influence my answer here. And I feel like former Leafs general manager and now Pittsburgh Penguins general manager, Kyle Dubas, he probably should have asked himself this very question before inking Mitch Marner to that very expensive contract extension with the Leafs. But I digress. Uh, yes, good luck with that, Schittsburg. Um, But yeah, are we, like, did we decide? Are we playing no. on a line with him in the playoffs or just in the regular season? Well, if you didn't ask me that before, you would have changed my answer a little bit. But you said you would study with him anyway, so it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so let's assume that we're talking about playing on a line with Mitch Marner in the regular season only. Then that would be okay for me. I think I could make that work. Um, and then I would study with Brock Besser. He seems like he has a good head on his shoulders. And I would party with Uri Slavkovsky simply because he's, what, 20 years old? So I could live vicariously through him as he can no doubt still drink as much as he wants and not get a hangover. So that's my logic <laughs> oh, for that I one. I remember those days. Yes, they no longer exist here. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then let's see, where are we at for time-wise? Uh, okay, oh, we let's... Do, we do coaches? I, that's my <gasps> next one. I have a coaching Ooh, one. I'm I have a coaching one. Ooh. That's my next one. That's our nice. last one. So... <laughs> Okay, let's do this. The coaching one. So the capital is Spencer Carberry, obviously. Oh. We have to throw him Hero. in there. <laughs> uh, reigning Stanley Cup winner, Paul Maurice, who I know you love. Oh, he's uh, my hero number. Actually, you know what? I changed that. He's my number one hero right now, as of last year. <laughs> because he <laughs> took out the Oilers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she hates the Oilers, too, for anyone wondering. So she's just a certified hater on here. Um, and we live in Canada, by the way. She hates all of the Canadian teams. Um, that's not true. <laughs> I was I was raving for uh, Canadians when they uh, were Leafs in the playoffs. I was at Montreal. Yeah, Montreal. you were. That's true. You were. And for the Canucks when yeah, they were Canucks, against the Oilers. Yeah, yeah, yes, exactly. that's true. That's go. true. Okay, we're getting off track here. So, She's lying. Capitals. I don't lie. Capitals. Spencer Carberry, uh, reigning Stanley Cup winner Paul Maurice, or have to throw this guy in here. The one, the only, 
John Tortorella, who is currently heading oh up Philly's God. bench. Okay, so Spencer Carberry, Paul Maurice, John Tortorella, party with, study with, and play with. Okay. Okay. Tortorella, I feel like we would have a really good bonding session at the bar over a beer. And sometimes that's my that's my go-to to party. Sometimes I just want to have a good chat. Yeah, you're not really a party party. I mean, I am, but I'm not. Like, I can literally do, like... You're like a sip on your whiskey type of person. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like me and Tortorella would, would kick it for a couple hours. So, you know what? Torty? I give you that torty? one. Torty? <laughs> yeah, Torty. I don't think he's going to like it if you call him Torty. <laughs> I think he's going to hate that, actually. Uh, okay, so that's why I choose to... Are to, you I drunk guess... right now? <laughs> <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Okay, so Tortorella, I'll party. I didn't know she was going to be like this when I invited her on here. I swear to God. (laughs) Okay, so party with Tortorella. And then uh, um, Spencer, I... You know what's different? But we're on a first name basis. Spencer, Spencer, Spencer. Spencer. That's difficult for me because I feel like he... I feel like he's got so many ideas. Mm -hmm. And I would just like to play that out on the ice and see what he wants to do with that. Mm -hmm. But then... You know what? Yes. I would definitely play with Spencer Carberry just because I would like to see them moves. But then sometimes, yeah, no, no, definitely play with Spencer Carberry and then study with uh, Maurice just because when you look at the guy, he's got like this look that he's got and he just dialed in and he's like, it looks like he's coming up with this like. The con- wheels are turning. Yes, the yes. wheels are turning. Yeah. I feel like he's like diabolically like creating these different like, like it's awesome just looking at his face. And just seeing what's going to play out. He's such a motivator, too. Yeah. Like, I feel like he would just, like, he would really have you into your textbook. Yeah. Like, if sure. you got a C, he would make you get that B. And then if you got a B, then he'd make you get that A. You know what I that's mean? That's true. Yeah. So that's that's how I'm... That's You're making I'm me want to change my answer, but no. <laughs> okay, so for me, I'm sure of two things here. Okay, the first is that I would want to study with Caps head coach Spencer Carberry. Because by all accounts, he's one of like the most prepared coaches in the entire National Hockey League on a night-to-night basis. He works extremely hard studying all of the video footage and whatnot after every single game. And so I have absolutely no doubt that he would have me prepared for whichever exam it was that I was having to take. Uh, and then the second thing that I'm sure of here is that I cannot choose only one to party with between Paul Maurice and John Tortorella. Can't do it. Like... Are you fucking kidding me? No way. Both of those guys would be a once in a lifetime party experience. So no, I'm not picking just one. I refuse to. I choose both. Hookers and blow in (laughs) Vegas for everybody. Okay. Uh, So I think we're going to, we're going to call it quits there. Um, Just because, I mean, like. You can go on. Hookers and, and, yeah, hookers and blow in Vegas for everybody. That's a good line to end it on. This episode has officially gone off the rails. (laughs) So it's time to call it quits for today. Uh, And we don't want to go too long here. Uh, It is, like I said, it's the off season. People are are wanting to be outside. Um, So Sunny, unless you have anything else to add? Um, Looking forward to the upcoming season for sure, um, as always, and to see what these new lines bring. I'm interested. All the new players, yes. Integrating all of the new Capitals players Mm -hmm. is going to be exciting for sure. Uh, All right, folks. So this has been part one of the wildly unserious off-season series here at the Janae Talks Caps podcast. And I wanted to take this moment to thank you all again so much for listening. You all are what make this show go on. We have had such a crazy positive response lately, by the way, in terms of downloads, in terms of new subscribers. And that really just warms my heart so much because that means that you guys must be enjoying what I'm doing here. And so I will keep doing it. Uh, I will keep trying to get some some sort of content out for you guys during the summer months here. Um, and then obviously we will go back to our more regularly scheduled programming, uh, the more serious content. Although it's never too, too serious. We don't like to be completely serious here, but uh, we will go back to that regularly scheduled programming uh, once the regular season uh, does draw near um actually to be honest probably once uh, once training camp starts drawing near so uh we'll get into it then but until then babes don't forget to subscribe uh share us with your fellow caps fans your fellow hockey fans um and if you have a spare second and you like the show please leave us a positive review if you feel so inclined you can do that on your favorite podcast listening platform whether it's apple Podcasts, spotify wherever uh those reviews do matter a lot and selfishly too i always love reading them so if you have a spare second please don't be shy 
Spotify, leave us that review. We really appreciate it. And until next time, babes, and as always, let's go Caps.